Instagram, Facebook, Martin Morris, ToadToBeTheBroke.com, ToadToBeTheBroke.com. I thought I'd give you a little story today. When I graduated from college as a civil engineer, I had to pass something called the civil engineer test. It's a test that was a survey, eight-hour engineering, and then two-hour seismic. I started taking that test back in about January, in June of 1995 and finally passed it about two, five years later, man. Passing that test, I think I've added another like million or million and a half because you're a registered engineer. So whenever you go to a job or they pay you, they give you five to 10% more. But I remember during the height of the test, I was living with my girlfriend, Delilah, and she was complaining, why are you trying to take that test? Let's just do this. Let's just get a baby. Let's just have fun. I remember she bugged me. It was so bad that we ended up breaking up and I still didn't pass the test probably about Two years later, I remember I used to lock myself away in my apartment at the Sycamore Valley. Who remembers the Sycamore Apartments in Daly City? Used to lock myself away, studying seismic, studying that. I was flying back and forth to L.A. It was Chillipotty. I was going to this place called oh Whittier College to study for my study for my uh, test, and I finally passed it. What that test taught me was you got to be, to, to, that's like I was look, reading through Grant Cardone's estimation of effort and you really have to work harder than you ever thought. You thought, oh, you're just going to pass this blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, I had to study. You have to know it, like really know it. You have to know even intricacies, know the tricks, what materials to take, what not to take. So I'm tw I guess because I'm thinking about this, we're going to retirement someone. He's retiring after 25 years. I think it's funny. I've been in the same organization three times. I got laid off once, quit once, and now this is my third time around. I just think it's funny. I got 25 years and I ain't retiring, man. He's 70 and he's got 25. I'm 54, I got 25. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. But once I got laid off back in 1995, I turned to sales to help bring in extra money. Now I'm basically debt free. I owe about five, twelve hundred dollars, five thousand dollars for training classes I'm taking in Phoenix. Learn how to be better with people. What I'm trying to tell you, you never know where life takes you, but you've got to have money. And I got money. I don't worry about it. Okay, I'll take care of this. I'll take care of that. You need to have that money. That's why I tell you guys, money is important. People tell me about love. People tell me about all this other stuff. Get that money, dog. Get that money. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Get you some money so you can pay those bills. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about me like 20, 25 years. You think I should retire? What do you think I should do? Should I stick with sales with Grant Cardone? Am I gonna, and I'm going to invest more money in Cardone Capital too. Let me know what you think.